Well, this had everything. It has everything. It's so not over. Ledges. Pure rock. Puddles. Mud. This silty sand stuff that's wet, that's not good. Rocks everywhere. Boulders. And steepness. I was sure wish I had the inclim inclimometer, 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 inclimometer. Because boy, this is steep. I actually tried to level it and get it to work, but it was like freaking out. Oh shit, look at this. This is super fucked. This is super, super duper fucked. Super duper! I know I should bomb it, but I can't. I don't have momentum. I'm gonna have nowhere to put my foot. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Nope. This is not for me on this bike, my friends. Probably not for me on any bike. Oh. Way worse than Warloop Road by like 10, I'd say. 10 times worse. And probably 10 times as long. It's easy to deal with anything for a couple miles. I don't know how long this is, but. Yes, yes, I know you'd be on the pegs. Oh shit. But there's also an arm strength issue happening right now. Where I don't have any. Okay, be a little bit chill for a minute, please. Just a little. A little chill. Oh, I see Baby Road off to the left there. That's kind of a good sign. Unless it just runs parallel for another 10 miles. Oh, Baby Road. Oh, Baby Road. I want you so bad. Baby Road, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I forsake you. Forsook you? Did I forsook Baby Road? Hard to say. Will Ange ever get out of first gear? Oh shit. No! Oh, come on. Come on. You got this ugly. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, there's more. 
there's more. up oh shit let's hope we can get that momentum back you know what I mean? this to lull you into complacency and then BAM! Right in your jaw. I get why these are good snowmobile roads. Because there's snow covering all of this bullshit. That makes sense. This doesn't make sense. I felt like I had some good line picking going on earlier. Now, I'm just a shambles. I'm a shell of a line picker. How's my breathing been? Is it atrocious? I repositioned the mic again to try to help. I don't know if it is or not. Frankly, it's not a high priority right now. But just wondering. like it's winding down to you. It does to me. Sweet baby Jesus, good Lord above, is that, could it be, is it, oh yeah, sweet terrorist gravel, yes, get me off you road, get me off you, oh Lord almighty, okay, I hereby make a pact to take the easy path in my spiritual journey to the north. Take the easy path. Go in peace, my brother. 
go in peace. So this is a class four road. I've been trying to figure out what this all means. But I guess these are roads that go through people's property as easements or something. Pete was trying to tell me about it at the uh, shop. And I guess there's been calls to shut them all down to, you know, traffic like this. because of the dudes who go through winding it out. There was one of those, your GPS is wrong, turn around. Signs that people put up. take him up on it. <laughs> Looks very short, but... But this is how it happens. You get lulled in. And it becomes that you don't want to turn around. So you keep going like a dummy. God, it looks identical to the other one. Doesn't it? It looks exactly the same. Oh, I'm so glad my chain is handled. Now my sprockets just have to stick to it. And nothing else can go wrong. I should be golden. And I'm knocking on wood right now in my mind. fueled up about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. I forget the name of the town. And it is getting freezing, man. 
I'm cold. I put the puffy back on and I am chilly and somebody might have been a dumbass for shipping his thermal underwear home because that would feel real toasty right about now. I'm so dumb. Um, and my camping situation is not looking great. I'm just not ending up in a good spot. I had marked a couple of dispersed camping areas and there was one that may be a private campground. But, um, oh Jesus, what gear? But I had no cell, so I couldn't call to see if if that one was cool and it's out of the way. So I don't know what to do. Also a little worried about the temperature. If you know what I mean. Drange jumping in here because the GoPro media mod sucks. Um, but anyway, what I'm saying is it's getting remote and uh, I had to turn around to go back to a gas station because uh, I looked on the map and it wasn't looking like there was another one for a long while. So I stopped in there. The, uh, the lady was really nice in the gas station and uh, there's no service out here at all. So she offered to look up the weather on her Wi-Fi and told me that it was going to be quite cold. Um, and uh, I'm headed into the Breadloaf Wilderness. There were some dispersed camping sites that I'm off to look for. And that's, uh, that's about the gist of it. All right, I was just following the road to the uh, camping spot and it ended at a house. Supposedly the road like keeps going, but it didn't keep going. So I'm trying something else. All right, this will do. Won't it? No, it would be cool as a fire. That would be fantastic. Unfortunately, I think everything's wet and I shipped all my stuff home. But, can you beat it? No, you can't. As long as I don't get ax murdered or bear mauled, this is cool. Hey, please like this video if you liked this video. And if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button and the alert bell. Also, if you're interested, there are links to gear lists and goofy t-shirts in the description. Thanks a ton for watching.